Well, good morning, guys. It is day two of our week, but today we will start journeying through the song Made Away. If you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. We are facing some unique times now in the world, but God is God. He is great. He is mighty. And the only thing that I think we can really do in these times of, of life is just press into his word and to what he has for us. So this week's song is going to be Made Away, and let's get right to it with verse one. Standing here, not knowing how we'll get through this test, holding on to faith you know best, and nothing can catch you by surprise. You got this figured out, and you're watching. Now, but when it looks as if we can't win, you wrap in your arms and step in, and everything we need you supply. Lord, you've got this in control. When I think about this song, uh, it is perfect for a season of life that we are walking through right now. Um, it is at a place, I think, where fear is setting in. Um, frustration has now shifted to fear. But I think from fear to frustration and fear and frustration back and forth, it just really depends on what your life is like or what your normal, normal life was like. But in the end, faith should be our foundation. Because we can find ourselves in this season being so tempted by the unknown and things that we can uh, um, assist in controlling, but truthfully, truthfully, we cannot physically control, such as we can stay home or not travel and do things to assist, but the spread of this virus and the shutting down of things around us, we can't control. It is what it is, but we have to find hope and trust in our faith that all things will work out in a way that will not look the same as it would have a week ago or a month ago, but it will work out. I think the place where we go from fear is we start making very uh, irrational decisions and then we start finding ourselves just in a place where now the tension is, is spreading in ways that can actually um, give the enemy more of a foothold of us in this season of life. We're going to be locked behind walls before we know it. Um, all schools have canceled. So if you're a parent, you understand the life of loving your kids, but oh Jesus. So there's just so much that goes with walking through hard times. And in the end, my heart's desire for us today is to really focus in on the rest of this week with this song. is to focus in on the one that all of our energy and who we should turn to, who we should lean on, and how we can truly navigate ourselves and our family and our friends through this season of life. It's Jesus. It is, it is God, his power, his love for us, declaring that we will praise him whether whether the sun shines or not. It's storming here um, outside right now, but Jesus is still Jesus. It's a matter of when, the, when you find yourself in any season that is too difficult or filled with tension and fear that you can't press through, that's where the word of God comes in. And that's where God comes in. Uh, there's a, a verse in Isaiah that I want to share with you guys. Isaiah 43. I'm going to start with 15. Verse 15, chapter 43, verse 15 says, I am the Lord, your holy one, the creator of Israel, your king. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters, who brings forth chariot and horse, army and warrior. They lie down, they cannot rise, they are extinguished, quenched like a wick, completely out. Remember not the former things, nor consider these things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it is now it springs forth. Do not perceive do you not perceive it? I will make way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild beast will honor me, the jackals and the ostrich, for I give water to the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink my chosen people, for the people who I formed for myself, 
that they might declare my praise. In this season of life, that passage is telling us that all of the things, if you are in rough waters and can't see through, the Lord provides. If you are in a, a path, if you are in a drought, which is what financially a lot of us may be walking through, and you're looking, thinking eventually, maybe your reserve was not up to where it should be, or maybe you're a small business owner, you're thinking, what am I going to do? Then that is the lane where we sit, because I sit there with you as a small business owner. That is the lane where we sit and know that the Lord will provide. It doesn't mean we just say the Lord's going to provide and I'm just going to sit back and do nothing. But we don't want to get lost into this fear that we are alone. It says here in the last line, to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. As it goes on, it refers to Israel, uh, Israel how they didn't. But in this season, I want to, um, I guess, share my own conviction and my own hope is that we lean into the Lord and we declare he is great. We declare he is mighty. We cling to those things that hold us steadfast because when this pass and this too shall pass, when this does pass, we want to be in a place to receive and to always so that we stay committed to celebrating what God can do. Fear sometimes pushes us into a place where we stop trusting and believing. But I believe fear is actually not a bad thing when you are fearing the Lord. And the Lord is a man of his word. He is a God of his of his true, in his, in his true natural state, he's always fighting for us. The word of God is always there for us and his deliverance is always there. So with the fear of the unknown, we can find ourselves allowing the enemy to say, hey, I want your attention. I want to distract you from the things. And this this virus that we are fighting now and running from is affecting our everyday life in a way that is very hurtful, very scary, very unhelpful. Um, helpful for a lot of people who may struggle with anxiety or you are a small business owner. You're thinking, what's next? I have to provide for my family. All of these things come into play. So then fear just heightens our choices. And before you know it, we're living in chaos. God is a God of order. God is a God of structure. God is also a deliverer. He's a provider and he will make a way for us. But we should continue to, I will say, to praise him now. Not when it's all past and everything's going back to great. We praise him then. But in this season, in this moment, in this day, we should declare and praise that God is great. God is mighty. Lord, you are all that we need. We're going to trust in you to provide that river for the drought, to spread those waters when everything is crashing in on us. Let this be our heart's desire. I hope that this is encouraging to you guys. Um, it definitely has been for me, again, as I said, as a small business owner with shows that I produce being canceled and things going crazy. In the end, I have to keep clinging and trusting that the Lord will provide and I will still continue to praise him and lift him up and worship him. I pray that you guys have a blessed day. Allow yourselves to connect with those near you, not too many people, but those near you um, as we all cling to God and all that he's going to do in this season of life. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you here tomorrow as we step into the course of Made Away.